What up, peeps? Happy Friday. Happy Friday, and you see that I am not at work. Yes. We're going on a little day trip. A little day trip. To uh, Mississippi, yes. M I S S I S S I P P I. What's the other way you spell it? M I crooked letter, crooked letter, I crooked letter, crooked letter. Uh, so humpback, humpback. Uh, is that right? I have no clue. I know the crooked letter. I don't know about the humpback. I mean, the P's got to be something, right? Humpback. Somebody let us know. I think it's humpback. We're heading to uh, Mississippi to, uh, I'm really kind of working, uh, yeah. just got some work over there, uh, about an hour and a half away, nothing big, nothing major, but we get to do it as a family and yeah, get so to wear our street clothes. Me and C's get to hang out a little bit. I don't know what we're going to do in Mississippi, or there's, there's not a, even a Target. There's a mall. There's a mall, but there's no Target. And it seemed like it was a pretty large, We've been here though. once before. We had, we were rushed though. And I, yeah, I don't remember. What was in the mall? I don't either, so, but it was it was a decent sized mall. We just yeah. were rushed. We were gonna yeah. go see a movie, but then we decided not to. I got my Why suit. Why didn't we go to the movie? You were like in a booty mood for some reason. Oh, that. I was in a what mode? A you, booty you mood. You was in a booty mood. A booty mood. I've never heard <laughs> when that. When did we go? No, that's not true because we were. We went to Men's Warehouse. Remember, you were like in a booty mood. No, sweetheart. <laughs> that's when we went. Then we go out there to have dinner. Yes, and they had already sat down. They, they oh, I early. was in a mood because the people we were supposed to meet, well, it was like two other couples, and they were like there yeah, they, for us. They, like they told us the wrong time Told us to or meet something. them at 5.30. And told us to meet them at 5.30. So we get there at 5.25, and they've already sat down and ordered. Yeah, like they had been there. And we're like, uh, did you think they call us? It was like, oh, uh, well, we just were here, so we... I mean, because we were there. We were actually in the area just killing time. We were just killing time. Because so. we thought we were too early. Oh, yes. I was I was upset about that. Like, it was just rude. It was don't just do rude. me. Don't be rude. We yeah. had plans. You know, we had plans. We, yeah. But, yeah, that was, that's what happened. So, yeah, I was. I was so, then she was in a booty mood <laughs> for the rest of the day. So, I'm saying booty mood. I hate that term. That sounds nasty. <laughs> a booty mood? Yes. I okay. Like so, that. she was in a mood for the rest of the day. Yeah. I was back in my moody day. She was. She was so moody back I then. I was super <laughs> duper moody. I've gotten so much better, well, don't you think? You've gotten no. She and the thing and you no. Know, you don't think I've gotten no, better? No, she's gotten heck of a lot better. But the reason she was so moody then, no, was because she was still adapting to Savannah. I think it's still uh, yeah. It was in the first year. It was year. very early. I think yeah. it was like the first six months still. Like she was I still was adapting. Bad when I first. Yeah, because it was before you started working. So it was, it was, oh, yeah, it was before April. Early. So it was in the first six months of her moving here. So mm-hmm. it had been a big change for her. So it, Any little thing would just <laughs> piss me off. Yeah, and so it was nothing major. So she's not normally moody. She just, that was just a very big change for her. Yeah. But I, I did used to be pretty moody. I've gotten so much better. I think I've kind of grown out of that. Yeah, she's calm. She's real calm. She doesn't really get a attitude or yeah. get moody really for I mean really anything if you're familiar with cancer I'm not really into astrology astrology for astrology I'm really not into astrology like I used to be but if you look up the definition of a cancer like that it's pretty much me to a T but I have grown away from the moodiness and such so I'm not I'm not crazy like a Gemini is supposed to be let him do it. <laughs> not to, I don't you really do don't show the like you. Really I do don't, have two personalities. I mean, but. yeah, but you don't like they don't come out. The bad side does not come out. You know what I'm saying? Like, no. you don't flip the switch. And I mean, because I've dated a Gemini before, and and he was certified crazy, but you are not. So <laughs> I can flip the switch. I mean, you can flip it, but you you choose not to, which is good. So worth it. yeah, don't be crazy. Let's Mike come in correct to my family though. Flip the switch real quick. Getting it flipped. 
with my rustic look because I was too lazy to shave. So funny. I used to be so into astrology though. Like, I mean, every day I wake up and read my horoscope faithfully every single day. Like, I don't really know when the switch happened. I get tweeted either. every day and I just freaking read it. Some of the stuff, you know, you'll look, read it and it's like, oh, that's cool. But some yeah. of it's just like, what? Like it's like reading a freaking fortune cookie. Exactly. How, <laughs> okay, look. Let me. I'm gonna start on this. How come fortune cookies don't have? Four, the reason we're kind of talking low is because he's asleep and he's he getting a little fussy, so we're trying to be somewhat quiet. Yeah. So, why do fortune cookies? They're statement cookies now. <laughs> they're statement. They got statements of like, make sure you eat your Wheaties. That's not a fortune. That's Man, a statement. It did not say make sure you I'm eat your I'm just saying, Wheaties. but that's like what it, it'd be like. It'll say something like, um, you will grow a beard tomorrow. I mean, I mean it'll say something random. random. That's a statement. That's not a fortune. <laughs> Are you upset about that? I'm mad. Maybe you should get into the fortune cookie business. I'm going to get into Make up some Look, fortune. don't take it. <laughs> I know somebody's gonna ask. This is a day one twist out. And yes, I am going to do an updated twist out video. I'm not really sure why you guys want an updated one so bad because I have a twist out tutorial video. I will put the link down below. It's really not much that has changed from that video, but I will do an update one day. Like, maybe I'll try to work on that the next time I do my hair. It just takes a lot to Number one, find time to get my hair done. And then two, trying to film it at the same time, it kind of slows me down. So I'm gonna have to like do it on a weekend when babe is home so he can watch Siege. Who's this babe? <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> I have found a playground. I'm so freaking excited because I've been wanting to get Chad on a swing and they've got bucket swings. I'm so excited. They've got like, you know, it's a playground. I feel like I haven't seen a real playground in ages. So I'm excited. He just woke up from a nap. So hopefully he will be cooperative. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Um, we just been hanging out really. We had lunch at B-dubs. BW3, Buffalo Wild Wings, and then, um, dang, why it's got to be right in the sun? And then we had Starbucks. I had me a pumpkin spice latte. Oh, you guys know that's my favorite. I'm so glad it's back. And he was napping, so I just sat in the parking lot at the Starbucks and did a little editing. So now we're going to play. Are you excited about the playground? Are you excited? Mommy's excited. Mommy's excited. We're gonna get you on the swing, baby. It's your first time swinging, baby. You don't look like you like it. <laughs> He's like, what is this? Wee! Yeah, are you smiling? Are you smiling? Don't you come no closer. I had to mess you up. Lord, I don't want no trouble. Do you like the swing? You look so cute. You swinging. Wee! You swinging, baby. Do you like it? I'm so excited about this, y'all. I'm way more excited than he is. <laughs> if you couldn't tell. I know we wanted to wait for dad to get you at the park the first time, but so I got the camera, he can see it. Y'all, it's hot. They need some shade. Look, the joint is in the background. I don't trust it. <laughs> yeah, you like it, huh? Yeah. Yeah. You're a big boy. Yeah, you're a big boy. <laughs> Hi, Chad. You gonna wave? Hi, Chad. 
Yeah, hi. You waving on the swing? Oh my goodness. You're just doing too much. <laughs> yeah. You're waving at mommy. Yeah, hello. Hi, Chad. Hi, Chad. Hi, baby. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is like the best feeling ever. I knew he would love the swing. And I'm sweating like a Hebrew slave out here. But it's fun. It's fun. Little kid skateboard. That's going to be Siege when he gets that age because y'all already know Chad is going to buy him a freaking skateboard as soon as he can walk. I'm sure he'll have a skateboard. So that'll be him in the park. Yeah, in a few years, you going to be skateboarding in the park? They just like that. Come on, baby. Let's do it. Yay! <laughs> Did you like it? I don't think he's impressed right now. <laughs> Did you like the swing? Or the slide? Oh, mommy can't concentrate. It's so hot out here. Mmm. Stop to look at the ducks. Ooh. Are you over them? Are you over the ducks? You're trying to figure them out. Are you trying to figure them out? I wish we had something to feed them. Let's get up close and personal. Maybe they're all. Going on about their business. We got dad back. I'm back. We got cake pops. Well, he's devouring it. Mm -hmm. That's good. I had cake pop so long. Mm -hmm. It's been a long time since we've had one. From, you know where? Star Beezies. What'd you get back? <laughs> I guess I'm a little new today. I got a caramel macchiato, extra hot with whipped cream. That's nothing new. That is totally new because you said I get a venti. Uh -huh. <laughs> what? I got something new. She did. Y'all already know I had to my pumpkin spice latte earlier. I'm just doing the absolute most today with my eating, like junk city. Because I got a salted, salted caramel mocha frappuccino. She did. This is like. That's like that's three just sugar. That's like three sins in a row. Salted mocha cup. and caramel. I know, right? Like sin, sin, sin. This is so sweet, but it's so good. I don't normally buy frappuccinos ever. Um, it's so good. It's so bad for me. Along with the cake pop, where are they doing that? It's all right. Yeah. After my day at work, they need to throw some Kahlua in there. <laughs> oh, that would be good. Some Kahlua in it. That's what I'm saying, mm, man. That would be the best. That's what I'm saying, man. That's what I've been trying to tell you. So funny. Now we're going to find GNC. Yep. I gotta get some more fenugreek. And then might hit the mall for a second, maybe. Who knows? Aren't you proud of me? I did not even go to the mall. I'm very proud of you. I'm very surprised and proud. I don't need to be buying nothing. I don't need it. It'll sit around 
in the bags mm-hmm. <laughs> for months. Yeah, and then uh, I think we're gonna go to go get some abachi. Yeah, because this is the one place has my shrimp sauce. It has his shrimp sauce. And yes, every place has that Thousand Island looking like shrimp sauce. They also call it like shrimp sauce or something, something similar. But it don't all taste. It don't all taste like this place. This place is like it says heavenly sauce, heavenly shrimp sauce. I'm always <laughs> amazed at what cities have what store. That's store. That is like perfectly on me right now. It is. <laughs> yes, it is. I still this place has shit. a Starbucks, a GNC, a full mall, Kroger. They even got Dodges. Four miles right. Look, okay, I got it. Dick Sporting Goods. I'm saying, man. But no Target. Man. That <coughs> is so crazy to me. Like, it's I just, crazy. I'm, I'm wondering how they, how do these stores like research and you know decide where they want to be or where they shouldn't be it's just so weird like you got an errands you know the, the rent to buy place but you ain't got no target uh savannah's got errands do we Carl some mcdonald's oh they sure do and that was random to me that they had a, a, savannah ain't even got no mall but it's got an errands you can apparently rent to buy anywhere that's well, yeah, because, popular, I guess. Yeah, because that's uh, that's like a waste of money. Don't rent to buy. It that's is, such a waste, of money. a waste of money. But it's a way people can get something, get something with, without kind of, I guess, like getting it on credit. Yeah, exactly. You pay more, but in the end, you, you definitely pay more. Yeah, if you can't afford it right now, then sometimes you have to go that route. Hmm. I think Tupelo needs a, a Target. I don't. I mean, not that I'll be back, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure the good people of Tupelo would like to have a Target. Anybody in Tupelo? Shout out to you. Shout out to you. If you want a Target, then start a petition and we'll sign it. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> he was, he's like, what's going on? I'm yeah. Say, like, what's he doing? Wow. Look. Oh, it's blurry. He didn't even point. Good job, baby. Good job, baby. <laughs> You want to vlog? You want to vlog? So her says, do not dwell on differences with a loved one. Try to compromise. What's your sign? Mine says, mine is actually a fortune. You will travel to many exotic places in the next few years. Is that a fortune? Yeah. So that's telling you what you're going to do in the future, right? I don't know if that's a fortune. You don't think that's a fortune? I don't know. I have a fortune for Gabrielle. We're don't make, even go there. We're going to make out tonight. <laughs> Isn't that right, baby? Mommy and Daddy are going to have a make out session after you go to bed. Gabe. And babe. And we're here to do our 50 random facts. Finally. Yes, finally. So let's get started. I crossed the Iraq border the day the war started in 2003. I am left-handed. Yes, that's right. Very special people we are. 